Hello everyone and welcome back to another Black Ops 6 video. Easter eggs went live recently for zombies and I wanted to go over how to unlock every easter egg, main quest and side quest in Liberty Falls all in one video. And you can start and complete pretty much all of them by the time you reach round 20. So let's begin. First thing first, as soon as you start the game you can head over to the motel and inside of the room here there are a bunch of zombies and this is where you can craft the jet gun at the workbench. And you'll need to do this first before completing most of the other easter eggs, but we need three components in order to build it. After you've unlocked a bunch of the fences, you can head over to find the water valve outside of the flower shop and take it to the bowling alley, where you can punch the box on the side of the wall to attach the valve, and fully turning the valve will get you the pressure gauge, and this is the first item that you need. Next head to the graveyard, a zombie will spawn here. I feel like he doesn't spawn until after you've upgraded it to Pack-a-Punch level 1, but in the graveyard the groundskeeper will spawn and when you kill him he drops a key and this unlocks the shed in the groundskeeper's garden to find the handbrake, which is our second item. Church groundskeeper, the guy. Mark Slavo. Luck didn't stick around in the end though. wonder what the key's for. Finally, you can head to the record store and you must blast the entrance open. If you already have a mangler gun, you can use that. Otherwise, you can get the mangler who spawns in round 11 to shoot it open for you. Just make sure there is a clear shot with no zombies in the way. Inside is a bunch of trash piles you can interact with to find the electrical wire. You are now ready to head to the workbench and craft the jet gun. Is that a design for a weapon? Looks like you already found some of the parts. So that is part one of the main quest, we'll do part two and complete the main quest at the end, but there are a bunch of easter eggs, side quests, that we can do now we have the gun unlocked. The first one is the bowling alley easter egg. Find five pairs of bowling shoes and shoot them in order to be transported to the bowling alley and you can bowl here and get high score and there is an achievement and trophy to unlock by doing this as well. about now, Max is be hitting her stride. I can do no less.
Next, there are three music headsets that you can find hidden around the map. Next, you can unlock a dancing zombie bus by looking through the two binoculars at the dancing zombie. Up next, the bank vault can be opened by finding the three bank vault codes. One in the bank itself, one is in the comic book store, and one is in the bowling alley. Our last major side quest is to become a superhero and there are nine action figures located across the map. One is next to the motel, there are four in the comic book store, one on the side of the flower shop, one is in the window of the church, one is on the bowling alley roof, and one is on the roof next to the ice cream parlour, which you access from the bank roof. Finding all of them will turn you into a superhero for a few rounds.
Now you can finish the main easter egg quest, head to the church and interact with the device to see the scientist ghost. He wants you to collect three parts. One is next to him in the church, one is in a window, jump onto the truck next to the flower shop in order to reach it, and one is inside the comic book store in the roof. You can then head to the roof of the bank and craft the LTG device. Take the device and head to the purple cloud near the comic book store and activate it and a portal will spawn. Protect the portal until an enemy spawns that's red and make sure that you don't kill him yet. From here head to the church and pick up a canister and take it to somewhere where there are traps which you can slow down the enemy. This will help you out a lot. Basically you need to kill the Erad enemy next to the canister to trap his soul and you can get the enemy down to low health and activate a trap in order to slow him down to make this a lot easier. And once you kill him his energy will be trapped inside and you have to quickly run and insert this into the device in the church. After this you will unlock the next step which is to get the Strauss counter thing from the device and we need to find three projectors and activate them. The first one is in the groundskeeper yard, basically you activate the device and make the colour the opposite of what your Strauss counter is telling you. So for this one my Strauss counter is red so I will make the device light green. The 
The second device is next to the bowling alley. It shows as green on my Strauss device, so I will make it red. And our final device is on the ice cream shop roof. And just to recap, your Strauss counter shows red, make the device green. If it's green, make it red. And if it's yellow, you can just make the device yellow. by the gas station should be accessible now. Good. Let's get to work filling it. Once you've completed all three, doing this unlocks a new canister next to the start area, so you can go ahead and pick that up. Now we're going to head over to the previous purple cloud that we already completed in order to get your LTG device, so make sure you pick that up. And then you can take both over to the graveyard and activate the second purple cloud and protect that until the next red enemy spawns. if it takes much more damage. Again, we're going to repeat the steps of before. We're going to trap the enemy in some purple goo stuff in order to help you seal them in the canister. I actually got lucky here because my game glitched, as you can see from the screen, and no zombies were spawning, so it made capturing him a bit easier. Lastly, take the canister back to the church and you're ready for the final boss. You may want to prepare a bit here because doing this next bit is tough. I couldn't because no zombies were spawning thanks to the bug, but I could still fortunately start the final boss fight here in order to end the easter egg. And running in circles and spamming the jet gun explosion is a good tactic. So that is how to complete all of the Liberty Falls easter eggs in one playthrough, unlocking a bunch of rewards and a couple of trophies and achievements as well. Like and subscribe to see more and I will see you next time. Somebody tell me what just happened. Any station this net. What is your status? Who hurt them? I swear on <laughs> No interruptions for this next part. Thank you, my friend, for volunteering to take my place here. Or, in your parlance, thank you for being voluntary. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a few scores to settle. Bye-bye, Dark Ether.